Mmm, Chinese pork belly. So juicy, so succulent. It makes the perfect death row meal. And considering how COVID-19 cases are exploding across my state, it really might be my death row meal. Okay, to begin, grab yourself some pork belly. Specifically, the type with the pork skin still on. Now, before we begin, make sure there are no stray hairs left on the skin. But if you do come across any, just uh, lightly braise it with a blowtorch and scrape off any excess hair. Luscious pork and open flame. This recipe has it all. Anyway, you're gonna need about two pounds of skin on pork belly. Now, whether you get a whole slab or pre-cut like this from the butcher, make sure they're at least an inch wide. Once you do, cut them up into one inch cubes. Okay, all right, once they're cut, place them in a bowl full of water. All right, next up, take this to the stove top and boil it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove any scum that floats to the top. Ugh, boy, I hate scum. We are boiling our pork for two reasons. One, to de-scum the pork, and two, to give the pork some structural integrity. Because over the course of our braise, our pork is going to become more tender. And if we were just to braise the raw pork, it would disintegrate under its own weight. Boiling it tenses up the muscle fibers, and once it's done, it should be nice and tender without disintegrating. We're going to be making the pork belly in a slow cooker. Uh, listen, I get this. This is not a traditional Chinese way of cooking. I just like this because it gives me good results, and cooking it over stove top is just a bit too much for me. Anyway, we line the bottom of our slow cooker with green onions. Uh, you might want to remove the rubber band first. That's very helpful. Next, take two ounces of ginger and just give it a nice chop. I think it was one ounce. The ginger's going to overpower everything if you do. Next, take two cloves of garlic and smash them. This is what I like about this recipe. You don't have to peel stuff. Now take our pork and put them in skin side down. Okay, now for our liquids. Add two cups of our boiled pork water. And in a separate measuring cup, add two cups of Shaoxing cooking wine. This is gonna tame any funky flavor our pork has. And you can find this at Chinese supermarkets. If you can't find any, don't worry. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Follow that up with two tablespoons of soy sauce and three tablespoons of dark soy sauce. And yes, there is a big difference between dark soy sauce and regular soy sauce. Compared to regular soy sauce, dark soy sauce has a bolder umami flavor. Just like the cookie wine, you can pick this up at Chinese grocery stores. If not, I'll leave a link to this in the description. And uh, this thing stains pretty badly, so be careful with it. And let's toss in a few spices. One cinnamon stick, two star anise pods, and one bay leaf. And finally, top this off with eight ounces of rock sugar. Once again, Chinese market or link in the description. Slap on the lid and let this cook on high for four hours. Okay, it's been four hours and our pork should be done cooking but it's not ready to eat, we're gonna make a sauce out of the braising liquid. Transfer our pork to a small bowl. If you get a few of our uh, onions, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. All right, well, okay, and once you get the pork out of the pot, the inner pot, and just dump the contents into a bowl with a strainer. Put the pork back into the bowl. Make sure you squeeze every bit of juice out that you can. Then pour the liquid into a gravy separator. Better clean that up. 
Give it a moment for the liquid and the fat to fully separate. Okay, once it's fully separated, pour the contents into a stock pot. Some fat's gonna get in there, not the end of the world. And reduce this over medium high heat. Okay, once the liquid reduces by half, pour it back in our pork. And uh, give everything a good toss. Serve it up in the bowl and dig right in. And if you think I'm being disingenuous towards Chinese culture, why don't you ask my Chinese friend, Poke Man? Or Space Boys 3. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Yeah, once again, I decided not to shave for this episode. My head was out of frame for most of the episode, so I just thought it would be a moot point.